Absolute genius who's now a meathead who punts balls for the New York Jets. Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas Morstead. Yeah! What's up, What's up, Pat? Good to see you, buddy. Hey, great to see you. I see across your shirt there, legendary. What a legendary day yesterday, uh, Thomas. Uh, okay, let's dive in. Weather, you know, kind of rainy, a little bit chilly. Why do you think yesterday you were murdering the ball and had so much control on it versus maybe some other days where the ball doesn't do exactly what you tell it to do? Uh, well, you know, sometimes when the field gets wet and soggy, uh, the ball doesn't check as hard each way. And, um, you know, the defense has been playing so well. They've been telling me to be aggressive. And they said, hey, if you hit a touchback, we'll live with it. They still got to go 80 yards. So be aggressive. And we've already gotten two safeties off of a uh, punt field position this uh, month. And they've just been telling me to keep being aggressive and, um, you know, sometimes you gotta look at that. You gotta talk a little. You gotta talk a little dirty to the ball and just tell it what to do. And it was uh, it 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 listened hey, yesterday, so it was fun. Hell yeah, it was spicy down there. Do you talk a little dirty to that ball? Do some spicy stuff for you. I mean, you had three balls inside the five, two coffin corners, one that just settled in its zone. The amount of text messages I got from people, not just Jets fans, but everybody, like, have you seen what Morstead's <laughs> doing? Have you seen what Morstead's doing today? Twenty three total punts in a game. 11 from you. Obviously, those three are going to get highlighted, but you had some bombs as well. Whenever Aaron goes down and Zach is your quarterback, and I know you've been on a team with Zach with the Jets, and we all have massive respect for him, but do you understand and realize, like, okay, my job, I'm going to have to do a little bit better now because we're a defensive-heavy team, and that's, like, a little bit more pressure? Or how do you view <clears throat> it going in each week, Thomas? Um, I mean, look, I think, you know, I think a lot of guys this offseason signed um, with kind of the caveat of, being teammates with Aaron and having a chance to go win a championship. And so when he went down, that was uh, devastating for the team. And, um, you know, we had to all, I think, acknowledge that, you know, that that happened and, and, and that he's not our quarterback right now. And guys have hung in there and it's been a lot of fun to, uh, punt for a team that's defense is just balling. And, um, you know, I've, uh, I wouldn't trade any of my years in New Orleans, but we kind of averaged about like two punts a game uh, in my 12 years there. So it's been a lot of fun. I think we're leading the league in number of punts and we've been attacking and the defense has been making us right. And so it, just to be playing that sort of complimentary football that coaches talk about, we're actually doing it. And um, I could say we've had a hand in, in all four of our wins this year, not only on punt team, on punt return, um, special teams have been awesome. Greg zerline has been balling as well. Um, we just have a crew of guys that believe that, and we're doing it week in, week out, and um, it's exciting to be a part of. Shout out to that barbarian Brant Boyer too. The special. Oh, uh, you stole my line, Pat. I was I was going to tell you the barbarian said hello. So this uh, guy used to be man, the wedge buster. <laughs> This dude was a wedge buster for the Jacksonville Jaguars for like 11 years, 12 years. We're talking old he's, school days. He's a total stud, and um, he's, he's, he's one of the main reasons I decided to come back. Had a few other options this year, and um, playing for a coach like him who wears his heart on his sleeve, you always know where you stand. He's got the highest standards, and uh, he's just an old ball coach that loves his players. Um, man, look at that young coach right there. Man, yeah. look at that guy. Yeah, uh, I just love, I love playing for him. He's the best. And, uh, you know, when you have a coach that believes in you and is telling you to be aggressive, it's just, it's just a lot of fun to be a part of that. I think he's from Utah. Really? I think. Go yeah. Utes? Yeah. Or? I think so. No, I, he went to Arizona, but I think he's from uh -huh. Utah. We were just out in Utah. Place is beautiful. But, yeah, absolute dog over there. Love to see you guys doing your thing. And I love that they're encouraging you to do your thing. Go ahead, AJ. Yeah, on those lines, I was wondering how does that, how much does that free you up when you feel like, hey, the defense trusts me. They say we don't care if it's a, a touchback. We'll we'll make it work. And your special teams coach does that free you up as a punter? Like, man, I can I can make this thing land wherever I want. Well, I think th there's two ways to answer that. Number one is, yeah, look, when you've got when you feel like you're playing in these type of field position type of games. Um, you know, and the defense going 80 yards on them's tough. And they're saying, hey, listen, if you can pin this thing at the five or the six or the four, we're thinking we're going to score. And they're telling you that. It just allows you to be more aggressive. And who doesn't – I don't care what position you play in sports. When you're going for it and you're not playing it safe, that's – every player wants to be in that position. You know, it doesn't matter what job you have. And so it's just a lot of fun to be a part of that. Um, and so, yeah, it's been cool. A few weeks ago, Coach Sala, uh, you know, in the media – was asked about it and just he 
I, I joke that he kind of gave me permission publicly to be a little more aggressive because he just said, we like it that Thomas is, is being aggressive and he's putting us in, in those positions. So, um, it's exciting. And, um, you know, to be doing this in my 15th year and being the old guy in the league at my position now, it's just, it's just, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of been a full circle deal for me, uh, from just my injury three years ago and getting back in, it was hard to get back in and seeing that side of the business was, was really uh, tough and, being on a few different teams and bouncing around, it feels like I've kind of found a, a second home up here and uh, just enjoying the hell out of it. Yeah, pro bowler, Super Bowl champion, guy got drafted in the fourth round, signed like a 10, eight-year deal with the Saints, I think, at one point because how consistent you have been. You were the model of consistency whenever it came to punting. You were the guy that taught me how to punt, so I will always be forever well, indebted Pat, to I, you. I, I appreciate you, dude, and, you know, you know, I couldn't make it as PFF's number one punter of the decade in the 2010s, but – you know, I was happy to take number two behind you. So, um, you know, it's been it's been an awesome career, and I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna keep rolling with this thing as long as I can. I'm having so much fun with it, and uh, it's fun to be competing. There's so many special talents in the league now. You know better than anybody. There's a bunch of guys that can absolutely hammer footballs, and to be competing with these guys and and being valuable to the team is just nothing like it. We were drafted in the same class. I've been nominated That's for right. the Hall of Fame twice now. you got to be retired for five <laughs> years to have that happen. And as soon as you retire, you'll go in probably – you. You. I mean, there's guys now. Shane Leckler has to go in. Sh yep. Sh Shane's going in. Has He's to going. go in. Shane has to go in. Cypher's even in a conversation. I mean, that guy – I mean, Cypher's was phenomenal for a long time. But Thomas, yeah. I've Johnny Hecker, I think he's going to be in the conversation. Whenever, but you are a guy yeah. who is uh, giving back to the punting community and now – you're in the big city playing your best oh, game. Wow. All these people, you know, that have never paid attention to punting are sending. I get it. Greeny was tweeting about. I don't know. Yeah. McAfee. <laughs> is this the best punting game of all time, McAfee? I have. What the hell is this? Yeah. And then you have like TV executives who have never seen a punter ever. They are trying to get to a commercial break, sending text messages like, are you watching what this guy is doing? Unbelievable. It's like, yeah, he's been doing this for 15 years though. This guy is phenomenal. And I think everybody understands how lucky they are to have you on the team now. And what a weapon. Who are you talking to there? Anybody sweet in the background? That's, that's my boy Hardy over there. He's, he's, he's getting healed up for a, for a late season push. Um, He's been an elite gunner in this league, made his first Pro Bowl last year. We were together in New Orleans. Another reason why I signed uh, back here. He's he's just a special teams demon. And, um, man, we got some guys playing up here. Uh, Ir Big Irv is balling. We're, hopefully we'll get him back this week. Um, you know, it's just fun, man. When you've got guys all over the field that are doing their job at a high level, it, it allows everybody to kind of play aggressive and just – it just synergizes, so it's fun. Hey, when you watch Aaron just walk around without crutches, do you think he's an alien like I'm thinking as well after this Achilles thing? Let me tell you, it is it is it's it is it's like a hope thing, you know. Every day, every week you see him out there, he's done another week of rehab and all of a sudden he's doing a little something new and you're like, "Wow, he this 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 sort of uh, you know, unrealistic uh prediction uh, that he's coming back this season, it it there's a hope there, and I think guys love seeing it, man. It's it's inspiring to see him out there, and um, you know, I think uh, we just got to kind of we got to keep hanging in there and uh, keep finding ways to win. Um, you can already see you can already see the story how this thing could end, oh. and it's it's exciting just to even think about it. It's it's too good, it's too good of a story. You can already see the ending, and. Um, it's just exciting to see him out there every week. Um, I think it gives the guys a lot of hope about what could be. That's what Salah said. Salah said his presence is yeah. just, like, needed. You know, he's telling them, like, hey, we need you around more, pal. <clears throat> Listen, that's why I got this mustache rolling. When he went down and all of a sudden that, that the old white guy in the locker room with the mustache left, I said, I need to I need to fill in. <laughs> I'm filling the, fill in. And you know what? It's been working, so I'm going to keep it. My, my wife hasn't forced me to shave it yet, so we're going to keep letting it roll. Hey, this might be the new you, pal. Yeah, I mean, you go. look good with that thing. And, hey, I don't Listen, know if, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll with it as long as it's working. Yeah, I don't know if you saw those balls check up yesterday. I think the football yep. gods are blessing from the mustache gods. Last question here from Ty for you, Thomas. Yeah, Thomas, I know you guys have had a few injuries on the D-line, and based on the fact that you split time between punter and playing quite a bit of D-line when you were in New Orleans, have you been, you know, working <laughs> in with the D-line at all? Or are we going to expect to, you know, see you on the field on Sunday or getting any reps in practice with those guys or what? Yeah, look, I pride myself on being a team guy, and so um, I don't get a ton of reps, but, you know, I told them if they need me to shoot the A-gap, I'm ready. 
Um, just whatever they need. I can run a fly. I'm not. You, Pat's seen me run. The side to side movement is is uh, is below average. At but best. so but I'm more of a. I'm like a, I'm like a, a locomotive, you know, it takes me a little bit of gas to like get up to full speed, but I, you know, I hit 20.8 on the old, uh, wow. so not too bad for 37 years old, um, training in Damn. the weight room as hard as ever. And, and, uh, so anyways, I'm, I'll do whatever they ask me to do. So, and we're referring to you in a four point stance after the Minneapolis miracle yeah. Yeah. Uh, against the saints, where you guys had to field a team for the extra point after the heartbreak and you were right there. <laughs> number six. <laughs> Ready in, in the that, A gap. That, that that tells you that picture right there tells you that the athletic ability is is not quite what you would hope it would be. No, what are you talking about? That. Low man wins. That. Low man hey, wins. Up. Listen, when I walked out there for that, Case Keenum was out there doing the Viking chant. He said, "Listen, Thomas, we're going to take and take a knee." And I said. Mother effer, you better. I'm, I'm not about to get lit up by one of your – look, his center is – he's staring right at Could me. Could you imagine Case going, out. check, check, check. Yeah. 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 Quarterback die yeah. right over top check, of you. Check, check, A block on number six. There we go. Double team. Uh, Thomas, you're a beauty, pal. I'm happy the world is seeing your greatness right now, and I'm happy you're continuing to represent for the 2009 draft class. 